Good enough for who it's for. Good enough for what it is for. That's how I like to do stuff. Just good enough for who it's for. All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. Today we're building a dueling tree for uh, plinking pistols and rifles and whatnot. I got Bill here, and we got these steel targets that he bought from Amazon. And uh, if you haven't seen what a dueling tree is, you'll see them when we get down here. But got these like three eighths thick steel plates and some pivots, and basically you shoot it and it flings around. And we'll go ahead and get it going here and see what it looks like. All right, so after a little bit of YouTube viewing, we got our, our idea laid out here for the dueling tree. Um, using a piece of bed frame I picked up off the side of the road, which is where's the tape measure? Tape measure. Where is it? Oh, this is unprofessional at best. Hold on, I'm coming in from the far side, hold on. So I got this bed frame picked up off the side of the road, which is, it's like inch and a half by inch and a half. It's only eighth, eighth wall, which might be a little light duty if you're shooting hot loads at this, that's what she said. But it might be a little light duty. But for the we're going to be shooting at it, it's probably going to be fine. The object is to hit the round circle. Right. If you're a good shot, it won't matter. You won't hit that and destroy it. And then I got a piece of uh, inch and a half flat stock here that we're going to weld on the back of this and make a triangle. And then the round uh, holders for the paddles will weld to the back of that. And I'll give you enough room so you can flip, flip these out both sides. So go ahead and get all this cut up and start welding it together and see what it looks like. So, this flat stock is going to weld in here like so. Oh. Well, that's all jingly. It's going to weld in here like this. And then we'll take the circles and they'll weld on the back of the flat stock. And that'll give you enough flop for your pails to flop either way. So we'll go ahead and get this clamped up and we'll tack this angle into place here. There we go, we got it tacked up now. So you can see the uh, the triangle here we've made. So I'll go ahead and lay these out. You want to be able to get your paddles off. So don't want to have the circles too close together. I want to be able to slide these paddles out. And then the vertical position, they go like this. I, I think we're going to do one first to make sure do this one is going to work. We'll do the top one first. Secret to welding, don't weld all one shot because you get a little warpage action, but for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. But it's but it's something be, nice you don't want to. It's going to be shot at anyway. Yeah. You don't want to put the heat right to it because you'll warp the crap out of it. So we're going to cut this off down here, lower this thing down, and make a base. And it leans, it leans forward. One of these leans, you lean it ahead about 10, 12 degrees so things flip and they stay flipped. Otherwise, you might do this. Off. We don't want that. It's now the base. Mm -hmm. Got some reclaimed steel tubing here. We're gonna make a like a H pattern out of this for a base. Jack, can you do me a favor? Yeah. On the dashboard of the 
the Thomas Rocket car, there's another one of these red triangles stuck right Let's on see the right there. Nice. All right, so we got our uh, our base laid out here. The center piece is offset because the the tree is going to hang out this way, so most of the weight's going to be in the front. So we bumped the the mount back quite a bit here. We got our uh, our base here. No. Now we got to figure out. Now the tree, we'll go into it something like this. We'll make a mount to put this in here. Actually, it'll be down about here. Just like so. All right, so what we did here now, let's come in for a closer shot. And Joe be on over here. Woo! Here, restore that to his former area. So what we made here, this is our base. It's gonna weld down to our stand. We got a thumb screw. Here's the, the tree cut off. This slips down inside here like this. And you go. You go and turn the thumb screw and it locks that in there nice and tight. So we're gonna go ahead and weld this to the base. So this will work awesome. We don't want any tools out in the field to, to disassemble. I just back the screw off and pull, pull the tree right out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and get down here on the base Actually, I'll bring the base back up here, and we'll tack this on, and then we'll see how it looks. Not a lot going on here that hasn't been done before. I'm just going to tack this on here so we can figure out our angle later. Well, I'd say that angle right there is probably not bad. All right, so we got our angle of our dangle. Let me go ahead and throw another couple tacks on All it. Right, check it All right, see you guys. All right, see day. So I think it'd be all right. I mean, it's going to want to take, most of the force is probably going to ping this so fast that then it's going to slam it this way. That's why I want the legs facing that way. I think it's going to work out great. We'll find out if it doesn't, then we'll just have to do a little modification on it. That's all. So what we're doing here, we're going to weld this piece of angle iron on the back for a little brace to help extend this all around, weld this in here this piece of angle iron on the back for a little brace to help extend this all around weld this in here let's see how we added this gusset in the back here space is at a premium here we can't get far enough here. but what we got here is the base finished here's the dueling tree that slips right down in this uh, tubing I'll put a list in the description of the sizes of the parts we used here so this goes right down in. You take the thumb screw, you crank your thumb screw down in tight against the uh, tree. It's all wonky because we're I got it on the rubber mat here trying to get it back. But now you take your uh, paddles. And you plink away, plink. Things should work pretty good. We'll find out. We'll find out. So, oh, can't see me. There we go. So, thanks for watching. This has just been a down and dirty uh, dueling tree. I got these uh, plates. They're 8500 steel. Bought them off uh, what? Amazon. Bought them off Amazon for like 65 bucks for the set. They come with the tubing. And then I uh, had some scrap steel laying around in the thumb screw. But this is probably about $40 worth of steel here, so for 100 bucks you can build yourself a nice dueling tree. So, we'll go outside when it gets a little bit warmer and we'll try it out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, tell your friends, and we'll see you out there on the range. Alright, here's a tip Bill's going to tell you about to make it function a little bit easier. So what we did here, 
Now these are real sharp edges and they were catching on the tubing. So we just took a grinder and kind of rounded them off. So they don't catch on the pipe, you know, well the pipe. And they move a lot easier now. Just a little tip. Dang. Probably should have been wearing masks. No, I won't hurt you. All right, so. It's a little rust dust. A little rust dust never hurt anybody. Iron's good for you. You gotta pay for vitamins. This get you get this way you get it for free. I shoot for me at mediocrity. You know how Forrest Gump was? The minimum intelligence, he was just right at the line. That's what I shoot for, right at the line. The bare minimum. All right, let's let this cool down somewhere where it won't catch everything on fire. Lean against this door of this rear car, and that'll be a good spot for us. Oh, there's a visitor. Oh, look, man. look, it's Jack. It's Jack, man. Hi, boys. Top what, of the morning. What do you want to be, like, in every, every video or what? No, I'm trying to stay out of videos. Oh, well, you picked the wrong day for that. Every day is a video day. Don't worry, there's at least 10 people on the, on the internet that have seen these, so <laughs> they might know who you are. Right on the money! So Jerry McGuire said, right on the money!